Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you how to edit a uh, like um, uh, the dispersion effect or particle effect like that. So uh, for that I need two things. Uh, at first one the model which is the PNG file and the particles brush. So let's start the tutorial. Before we start tutorial, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So at first i'll go to the new options the normal one so i'm taking the 2560 and 1440 that means the 2k uh, just uh, background and the background color is white rgb color for the web publishing i'm just making it so 8 bit color and the 200 pixel per e and hit the create button so after that uh, i'll go to the file and place embedded option i downloaded stock image um, which is the this image and i'll just place it up so it will open up here and i'll give the download link in my video description so check it out for your practice so i'm just making it smaller like that and hit the tick button and after that just i'll mask this one and i'll go to the brush but i need that brush which is the particle type brush so how to do that so i'm taking another new file and i'll make that brush uh, manually so i'm taking thousand by thousand pixel the artboard and hit the create button and then just taking the pen tool and making a triangle like that the simple triangle and the bigger triangle like that that's good and you are getting two triangles so i'm turning off this one and selecting these two things merge by pressing ctrl e and after that go to the edit options and the define brush and i'll get that name after that you'll get the brush and you can use that so i'm closing that one and hit the no button and uh, i got the mask option when this one is white and i have to make it black and then take the brush the last brush it will be your particle brush and after that here is the brush adjustment and from here i'll just give some space like that and the shape dynamic options and the angle will be like that yeah or like like this okay and then the scattering suppose i'll scatter this one like yeah and the count is just amount will be like that and count zeta like that yeah and after that just make it smaller and just brush here okay make it zoom so brush here so yeah that's good so just brush when the border just gone like that yeah that's good and just select this background and take a blank layer and brush will be same and take the color like this color and brush over there make it bigger and brush over there like that and take, take another color suppose this one brush also and take this color the separate a different type of color and just brush it yeah okay and take the white one like that and brush over there yeah that's good and take another color and just okay that's good and select the background options and go to the solid color get the solid color like blue or deep blue like that yeah that's good and here is our brush 
and that's why i'm just giving the blending options going to the blending option give the drop shadow like that yeah drop shadow setting will be 54 opacity and uh, distance will be 5 a 3 is good and the size of spreading like 1 and the size will be 8 okay that's good and after that go to the go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient and here is this gradient red and green but i'll take this green to the blue yeah that's good and hit the ok button and then i'll make it minus 45 percent and dither and the reverse sorry this one and okay just make it like that and hit the ok button and then make it uh, you can uh, just soft light is good soft light mode and after that go to the color lookup options and the horror blue color and make it overlay and just down a little bit okay after that select all the things make it group make it merge or snapshot go to the filter and the camera filter and after that i'll load the settings here is the settings the previous settings the effect yeah like this one and hit the ok button and after that go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro 4 from here uh, i'm using the cross processing filter and here is lots of methods and i'll make the methods like that and hit the ok button it will take time to save and give you the output so your image is ready so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section so don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends until the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye